Howdy everyone, Prairie Ranger here. Today in this video I'm going to show you how to turn a secondary keyboard into a macro board. And this tutorial works with both USB and PS2 keyboards and can also be modified to work with mice as well. It does not have any input lag at all. So I had an old version that used to have input lag but this one doesn't. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. So first you're going to need a few things. You're going to need auto hotkey, of course, and you're going to need my script. I include a demo script as well as interception in order to make it work. This is required and auto hot interception, which is like Lua macros and secondary keyboard macro master except it's a lot easier to use and works with ps2 keyboards as well so first all you gotta do is download things in the link down in the description and now here's the demo script you extract this extract interception and extract auto hot interception first thing you're going to want to do is click interception we'll go into here and you'll notice there's a folder called command line installer. Now what we're going to want to do is rename this to command. Now the next step requires that we open the commands prompt and we have to run it as administrator. Now that you have command prompts open in administrator mode, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to find this to install it. So you can't install it just by clicking on it, by the way. So depending on where you install it, mine is installed in C or located the file, you would want to type a command such as cd c like that, which takes us to C. Now, one thing that makes this easier is we if we copy this and then we type in forward slash install interception .exe and then forward slash install and since I already have it installed it gave me an error but you will see a, you won't see an error here and it should install no problem then after that you'll have to restart your computer and once you restart your computer, we'll be ready for the next step, which is to get our keyboard ID, we will need to copy the library folder, well not the library folder, but the x86 and x64 folders out of the interception library. We copy those, go back here to our auto hot interception, go to the library, and paste. And this gives us some required DLLs that we need to use the monitor. Next, we're going to want to open the monitor. And here we can see a whole lot of keyboard IDs. And if we go and enable all of them, for instance, if we got lots here, uh, got 11, we will notice that when we click on our mouse, for instance, it shows us the ID of our mouse. So we know that for example, the mouse is 11, so we can turn that off. Now, if we press one of our keyboards, say for instance this is a USB keyboard, press O, we can see that it's ID6. And there's a handy little copy feature. So if you click copy on that, we can then go to our new macro board script, click edit, and this script is what allows us to add our programmable keys in order to make them work in OBS. Now, see here we have this ID, this okay, for instance, we want to, we'll just take this and then we'll paste in our new one. Now, to find our PS2 keyboard ID, and make that work, all we have to do is we go back into auto hotkey and press a key on our 
PS2 keyboard. So we can see that it's ID 1, and then we'll copy the handle, since it doesn't have a VID and PID. Click copy, go back to script, and then what we're going to want to do is go into the script here and replace this, put in quotes, and paste this. Now all we have to do is change this from get keyboard ID to get device ID from handle and then we'll type in also false because this asks if it's a mouse and since it's not a mouse we will say false if it was a mouse you'd put true and if you want to use a USB mouse all you have to do is replace this with get mouse ID and put in your normal um, ID PID and VID details now, if we save this, and we open the script, we can press A, which is our test, which brings up a little message that says test 1. Now, I will quickly show you a little bit of what these um, various commands do, and you can obviously expand upon this. I have a few set up already in the demo script, and this just means these little commands, while hotkey has commands for various um, keys, symbols, basically, for various keys. So this means shift and control, I believe, and one. But if you want to add more and have all of your um, keys on your secondary keyboard do something, you just got to do a little simple command here. So if we want W to do something, for instance, say for instance, for it to do type a different letter, for instance, we would just put WW or W and then those two semicolons like that. Send, which sends the command, and then the command, which say for instance we wanted to to type 827, for instance. And we type return, which makes the car code work. So now if we run our script and then we press W, now I just open a notepad, we press W, and it types in 827. Simple. Now if we want to have to type multiple letters or numbers or keys on our keyboard in order to do a command, to have more commands on one single keyboard, we could do for instance W, or for example T and Y, bracket, bracket, or the semicolons, send, and then we could type pizza. And we have to capitalize this, of course. Then we type in return. And we reload the script. Now, if we type T and Y, off the notepad so you can see this, pizza. Really simple. One thing to keep in mind is that since there are a lot of various commands for auto hotkeys on various things that have various symbols, such as this being Control and Alt, I've included in the description down below a list of all of the various um, keys that you can use in auto hotkey and their various commands. So this would be like L button, that would be left mouse click, for example. There are certainly a lot of them, and you can also find this in the auto hotkey help uh, section on the auto hotkey program if you just go to the index and type keys. And then go to key list and they're all here. Now the next step I'll show you is how to set this up in OBS for your streams and such. So let's take a look at that. So now when we go into OBS and go into to set up our macros, we go into settings and hotkeys and go down to saying, say for instance for here, starting scene. We click switch to scene. So the way that this program works, or the best way to set this up, is to type in the hotkey manually. And so we'll have to set it manually without pressing our hotkey due to limitations. So we press control alt one. And say for instance, then we'll click apply. Now if we press the one key on our secondary keyboard, we can see that it'll switch to our new scene. 
So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. You can also add more in your settings. Just remember that when you type in your commands, you have to type them manually. But that should be pretty much it. If you do have any problems or concerns or difficulties, just let me know down below in the comments and I will do my utmost best to try and help you fix this to get your handy dandy stream deck, macro pad, whatever you want to call it, working. But yeah, this has been Prairie Ranger. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching. Prairie Ranger, over and out.